Hey guys, welcome to the second Profound Studios tutorial. Uh, today we're going to go through Dom Dollar's bomb track, San Fran Disco. Uh, I really like the bass groove to it and that siren noise at the start. Um, yeah, I, they're actually relatively easy sounds to make, so I'm going to dive in today and show you how it's done uh, using Serum. Um, and without further ado, yeah, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so here we are back in my FL. Uh, I'm sure we've all heard the original before, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just uh, take a quick listen. San Francisco, where's your disco? Yeah, as I said uh, earlier, we are going to go through the baseline and the lead. Um, I've got the baseline pretty spot on to the original. Um, the lead, it's not quite exactly the same, but um, yeah, that's not really the point of these sort of tutorials, but first let's just quickly listen to what I have recreated. San Francisco, where's your disco? So yeah, um, the, but yeah, the bass line is pretty spot on. The lead, I know it's a little bit off, but um, yeah, I don't really want to blatantly, the idea of these tutorials isn't to just blatantly copy or anything like that. Um, you know, no disrespect to the artist or anything, I don't want to, you know, rip them off or things like that. It's basically just to give you guys an insight into how a sound might have been made, um, you know, techniques to use, what the artist may have done to make a sound, uh, things like that. So uh, let's firstly, let's just go start off with recreating the bass line. Uh, let's take this back to init preset. So we start off from scratch, um, put the MIDI in so we can hear along the way how things are sounding. Um, and it's, it's relatively simple, so we're just going to go uh, the FM wavetable, going to pitch it down two octaves, and let's listen to what it sounds like already. And that's already uh, pretty close, <laughs> to be honest, there's not much more to do. Um, it's yeah, it's a super simple uh, base. We're gonna go turn on the MG low filter, put it to 24, and turn the hertz down to about 280. Um, we're gonna turn down the decay to about 600 milliseconds. Um, distortion, let's turn that on. Let's leave this side of things. Just boost the drive a bit, maybe around 50%. Let's just turn the master a bit. That's a bit louder for you guys to hear and. That's literally all you need to do, let's take a listen. Yeah, it's, like I said, a super simple bass. Uh, a little trick that Dom Dollar did do, however, to make his bass line a bit more unique, give it a bit more groove, I'll show you here. You can hear it on the second note of the bass line, there's a bit of pitch bend. Let's just take a listen. So you can hear that on the second note of the bass line and that's um, it's relatively simple you know what I would have or what I have done is I've just turned that put these both at 12 semitones so that's kind of the range that the pitch bend can go and then just what I've done is I've just kind of played around with the pitch bend and just got a similar vibe really so let's listen to the what the pitch bend is doing So yeah, you can hear that the, yeah, it gives a bit more groove, it gives it a bit more of like a, like a kind of a sliding sort of effect. Um, yeah, it's just little things like that that are going to make your, your track more unique. Um, so that's something to think about when you're, um, yeah, making your bass lines or any sound really, just think about how, you know, how you can make a sound a bit more unique, sound a bit more, you know, a bit more you really. Um, but yeah, that's the baseline. It's, as I said, super simple. Uh, the baseline and the lead are both going to be in the preset pack coming out on Monday along with the sample pack and the bundle, which I'm super excited to finally release. Um, now let's just go through the lead, which is also, I know it's not spot on, but it's close and it's, you know, it's still a relatively cool sound to use, um, which is why I've included it in the preset pack. Um, let's just go turn this back to the start so we can go from scratch and we're going to copy the MIDI again. So 
so we can hear how it sounds all right so let's turn this on as well we're going to turn this up one octave um triangle waves by the way um okay we're going to turn up uh the unison to five on both we're going to turn this b fine up to 29 as well by the way um and from wait, from here the envelope so we're just going to leave everything else apart from the sustain we're going to turn that all the way down and with with that pitch bend effect how it goes kind of like it goes down and up <laughs> don't mind whatever that was <laughs> but um it, it's like you can either do that you know automating the pitch bend here or you can do it um you know using the envelopes here which i prefer to do so we're going to drag this directly onto the course pitch and then we're going to hit shift alt and then click to make it unilateral that's a trick there and then to get that pitch bend sort of effect we're going to turn this down to about 20 minus 23 on each all right now let's listen to Oh, am I on the right one? Uh, oh no, I'm not. I've got everything muted. Okay, let's start again. So let's listen to how that's sounding. So you can hear at the start that pitch bend how it goes down and up. And you can sort of adjust this, like if you wanted to go old, you wanted to go to the extreme sort of thing. Um, make sure they're both even on each side, whatever whatever range you decide to have it on. Make sure they're even on both sides. So let's just listen to what. You see how, yeah, that's just controlling the, the pitch, how long it takes the pitch back up. Um, but yeah, for the track, I found 23 was reasonably accurate. And then effects wise, I just added um, some pretty simple reverb, um, added some dis just a slight distortion, um, let's put that about there. And then, what else, let's go the EQ as well, so we're going to take out the some of the lows, and then we're going to also boost the highs slightly du -du -du -du. and yeah let's listen to that so yeah it's pretty it's close it's, it's, it's a cool lead regardless and then if you have so with that kind of gated effect how the siren uh, it kind of goes blah, and then it goes blah, 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 blah. You kind of want, there's two ways you can do it. So if you if you automated the, the pitch bend, um, you could just put the MIDI as just like four little like, four MIDI notes that they're like at the start of each where the kick is. Or if you've done it how I've done it, um, you can just put it at a gated effect with something like kickstart, which I've done here. And so I've just automated it so it's, it's not gated on this part of the lead, but it is on this part. So I'll show you how that works. So yeah, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that's I hope that's been helpful. Um, also, the drums I use, by the way, are in the sample pack coming out Monday. So um, yeah, I can't cannot wait to finally get that to you guys but um that's it for this tutorial um i hope it's helped you if it has um please drop a like a subscribe um it's gonna help me out a lot um our socials have been going well already in the first couple of weeks of launching so that's great i thank you guys so much for that um if there's anything you want to know um tutorial wise like you know let me know what you want me to do next um yeah, I'd love to hear uh, back from you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it from me today. So um, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. All right, cheers. San Francisco, where's your disco?